Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at jobocjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is about access modifiers. More specifically, what happens when you apply a private access modifier to a standard class. I'm going to open up my web browser here to javacjava.com click on menu and select Java OOP tutorials. This is my Java object oriented programming tutorials page. I'm going to scroll down here to private class. The private access modifier cannot be applied to a standard outer class. In Java sometimes it matters just as much what you cannot do versus what you can do. An exam test question may have some complicated logic located inside of a class marked private. If you notice the private class in the declaration, you won't waste your time figuring things out and you can just answer something like fails to compile. Okay, what happens when we try to apply private access to a class? Let's do it. I'm going to move my browser off screen here. I have a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop. If you don't, you can simply right click, select new shortcut, CMD, next and finish. Let's open up our command prompt here. Type in Java C for the Java compiler. You should see a whole bunch of stuff scroll by. If you don't, if you get something different like an error message, go ahead and watch my tutorial on installing the Java development kit. You want to make sure you get that installed and configured properly before continuing. CLS to clear the screen. CD space backslash. CD is short for change directories. Backslash tells it to go to the root. I'm going to make a directory using the MD command called Java. And I already have it, but if you don't, it will go ahead and create it for you. I change directories to the Java folder. The Java folder for the purpose of my tutorials is where what I call my working directories. So I'll put all my packages and test stuff underneath here. So I'm gonna make directory called one because I'm just gonna do a simple little package declaration here. Change directories to the one folder. I'm a notepad tester.java. And I'm just gonna make this part of package one. And I'm gonna do just a simple minimal class declaration here. Okay, let's go ahead and save this. We got our class tester minimum declaration and um, here's our private access modifier. Let's go ahead and come up here. Well, I'm just going to type in Java C, tester.java and you can see. Okay, tester and line uh, dot Java line three error modifier private not allowed here All right so you cannot apply the private class to uh, private modifier to a class okay I'm gonna close out of this close out of that leave you with some final thoughts here the only modifier that can be applied to a standard outer class is public now a standard outer class without a modifier is implicitly assigned default in other words package private access so a standard outer class basically can have two different access levels, but only one modifier can be applied to it, and that's public. Okay, that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.